Good evening, guys. So what we're going to do in this video is we are creating a contract with DXMint. First of all, we go to DXL.app, which is our website from our service. We make sure we have a wallet with the currency which we want to have. For this video, I'm going to use Robston Test Network with some Robston Ethereum. I will put the link for Robston Ethereum for the faucet where you can get um, free Ethereums into the description to make sure you get your free Ethereum. So the first thing we're going to do is we go to DX Mint. We got the choice between to choose three different tokens. For this video, I will just show you how to generate uh, a liquidity generator token. So the liquidity generate token um, is a is basically a safe moon fork. Uh, if you don't know what safe moon is, you can basically just Google it or watch some YouTube videos. It has a lot of videos and a lot of content around what safe moon is. It was actually one of our uh, sales, which was basically number eight in this case. You can always watch. I'm uh, not gonna. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna show, show you first. It's actual sale number eight. I don't know if it works now. No, it doesn't work. So, um, doesn't matter. So basically, the liquidity generator token we gonna create. Then we gonna select the token name, which will be now um, just a random name. It's gonna be test token one. Then the symbol is TT1 in this case, and we take this decimals. This is basically the decimals. So, like, if you go 0 0.1, you would have one decimal. So, one, one, two, three. This is two decimals, three, four decimals, four decimals, like this. You can split up your token in the divided by the decimals. Basically, six or nine is totally enough. Most big currencies they have 18, but you don't really need that. So, and the token supply, we're just going to make like 1,000 for now for the testing tier, but you can make it to a lot actually. It, it doesn't really matter, but you all make your own token MX, so you can decide how many tokens you will need. Then the transaction fee, which is generating yield, this is basically the transaction fee which is getting charged in every transaction. After the transaction successes, it will divide the fee which is getting charged so if we take a fee of 100 if we have five percent and we send 100 tokens we obviously send five tokens to the fees and these five tokens are getting split to everybody who's owning tokens on the same moon this would be the tax fee then the next thing the transaction fee to generate liquidity this is basically the liquidity fee which is generating tokens on the contract. So as a SafeMoon example, we see SafeMoon has some SafeMoon tokens on the contract. These tokens are getting accumulated on the contract and from time to time they are getting sold. And this selling is actually a quite complex transaction which adds basically half of the tokens which are being collected on the contract to the liquidity and the other half yeah, it's basically swapping the one half to BNBs in this case, and the other half is getting added as liquidity on PancakeSwap in this case. On our case, it would be Uniswap in this case. So basically, after we filled out all these informations, we just gonna cl yeah, click create. Check out that you have enough Ethereum or whatever currency you use as fee to pay it, and then we're just gonna relax it. It's creating a token. So, we got, you already see here is a different token, but we're just going to focus now on this test token TT1. We have here all the necessary information. You have to supply the liquidity generator, the token address, the actual fees which are enabled or not. For now, they are disabled for the starting of the preserve. So, we go here, we click on our contract, and we see actually nothing. Um, to verify our own source code from the contract, we got here link. Click here. 
and we're coming to the github from Dennis so Dennis made a nice tutorial for us which is pretty easy to understand and basically you just have to follow the instructions just gonna make this window here and we're just gonna make this window on the left side so we have them basically next to each other uh, so we start reading the instructions if you know them already like I do we just gonna go on we are gonna click on contract verify and publish and we are gonna comp select the compiler we select the version which is 0.612 and we're gonna take the license which we're just gonna use MIT then the next thing we're gonna have to do is we just click the mistake wait return to main we gonna go again single the file we select 0.612 we have uh, MIT license and we go here so we first of all select the optimization yes then we go into the chains folder we have here we have for every different chain for now we are on the Robston test network so we take the Robston you have BSC chain, Avox chain, BSC test network, Ethereum main network, Phantom, Matic uh, yeah, and the other ones. So we go here, we take all the source code, we copy this, and we paste it basically here. Optimization is yes, then we are confirming that we are maybe no robot, and we're just gonna verify and publish it. Now we're gonna have an error, as it's actually written in the yeah, it's actually written in here. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna copy 0033. So you see this bytecode here is pretty long and we're just going to control F which we use a search function in our browser and we're just going to search this 0033. So as it says here copy everything after the 0033 line. So we basically copy after this 0, 0 and we're just going to copy everything after this. We copy, copy, copy it, and we go back to contract source code, and we're just going to paste it to this ABI, because this is the important part which we gave to our contract, like the name and stuff, this is just encoded in a different way. So we just need this, and we're just going to confirm again we have no robot, and it's still true to work now. So, you see, successfully generated bytecode and ABI for the contract address. Everything worked. <clears throat> now, we already got our contract here. We can read contract, write contract. We can actually interact with the contract now from BSC, Ethereum, Scan, and every other platform. To interact with our contract directly, we're going to connect our wallet here on write contract. And uh, we're just going to confirm this. We're going to connect forever and we got here different functions to use for now we don't need that basically if you use the mint you don't need that this is just for your knowledge that you could work with a contract as well from here but you get all the functions you will need here as well so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna launch you make him pre-sale and this we can do with that we open the disclaimer, we read the disclaimer, and we agree to it. But for now, we're just going to keep it like this, because this was only the introduction, and I'm just going to make a new video for the next steps. Basically, we created our own contract. We created a free liquidity generator token, and we can use it now. We got all the tokens, like as you can see on the holder. We are the main holder. We got 100% of all the tokens. We are owning the contract. And we are already here as well as owner inside the contract. So this is your DXA contract. You can use for everything you want. And you can also do this with a standard token, with a liquidity, frictional seed generator. This is actually the same, mostly the same as we have on the liquidity generator. The difference is that the, uh, the generated yield is going to a wallet, which is actually not yet activated while I'm doing this video now, but it will be activated soon. So, no worries. Thanks for watching, and we'll see us on the next video where we set up our token for the launch. Thanks. <laughs>